There is a place, do 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 do, somewhere in space, ba do da do da, where magical things are happening. Everything you can't be imagining. The enchanted planet is charmed and truly magical. The enchanted planet is everything imaginable. The enchanted. Hello, friend. Welcome to a beautiful day on our enchanted planet. It's a beautiful, creative space where we can do whatever we can imagine. Today, I am feeling very relaxed and free because I have a free day to be with you and just be myself. Makes me feel like when I'm floating on a raft down the river. And sometimes the river is going fast. And sometimes it's going very slowly. Do you notice life can sometimes be like a river? So I'm looking forward to some adventures today on our River of Enchanted Planet fun. One thing we get to do is hang out with a world-class musician and have a really fun dance party. We've also got a chance to speak more to Grand Sappy and find out what he's got going on. And we are going to learn how to be unique and flow in our story time where we get to meet dragons and wizards and all sorts of fun characters. Are you ready for a great adventure with me? Let's go. I do see my friend Sandra coming today. Hola, Sandra. Hola, amiga. Ah, it's good to see you today. Good to see you too. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I'm feeling so happy. And you know what? I'm so, so glad I get to share some time with you, friends. I am so grateful about that. And I liked seeing your cool moves as you came down the trail. Those were very unique. Oh, yeah. You know, something I really appreciate and love about our friendship, mm. that we have a lot of differences and similarities, and that just makes our friendship unique. It does make our yeah. friendship unique. I like the fact that we have similar things and some differences about yeah. us, too, because we get to learn from each other. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, I speak Spanish, si. and you speak a little bit of sign language, si. and we both speak English. That's cool. So we have differences in some of our language, but mm -hmm. similarities in Absolutely. our language. Yeah. That's really neat to celebrate <laughs> that. Will you teach me some more Spanish phrases today? Because I really want to learn more. Of course, friend. If I'm feeling unhappy or sad, how do I say that? Triste. 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 Should we try saying triste together? Okay, ready? Triste. Put on your sad face. All right, take it off. Perfect. You can have whatever face on that feels correct to you in this moment. But for me, I'm feeling happy, so I'll <laughs> take too. triste off. <laughs> I'll put on a little feliz. There you go. Wonderful. You're so amazing. <laughs> so today, when I was talking about the friends that we're going to meet, oh, yeah, the yeah. animals, yes. yes. So one of them is a unicorn. Oh. And I'm curious how you say unicorn in Espanol. Oh, okay, unicornio. Unicornio. Unicornio? Mm -hmm. That's See. a beautiful word. I and I like it because unicorn, unicornio. There you go. They sound very similar. They do. That's incredible. Now, she happens to be very unique. How do you say unique in Spanish? Unico. Unico. What? It's kind of like unicornio. Yes. That is cool. I like that a lot. So let's practice saying unique again. Unico. Okay, let's do it. Unico. Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you. I am hoping that you brought a book today. Yes, and thanks for reminding me, mm -hmm. Fred. Of course. Oh, I'm excited about this. This particular book has a really great amount of unique characters. Oh. And remember, we talked about that unique means different, and so there are a lot of different characters in this particular story. This is from a new friend of ours named Allison Ioni Ballinger. She is so cool and wrote this really great book called One More Year. Story Time. One More Year by Allison Ioni Ballinger. Illustrated by Carlos Velez Aguilera. 
Happy birthday, sister. It's terrific to be two. You don't know of all the magic that's in store for you. Patience, little sister. Oh, just wait until you're three. That's the year you'll meet the wise old wizard in the tree. He's tall and thin, with a crooked grin, and a beard that's white as chalk. He'll lower down a golden rope and pull you up to talk. He'll teach you how to ride the birds and sing a silly tune. And, if you ask politely, he will fly you to the moon. But, dear sister, as I said, you must wait one more year. You can climb and sing with me until that day is here. Happy birthday, sister. It's so thrilling to be three. But I'm so sad to tell you, sis, the wizard had to flee. Patience, little sister. Oh, just wait until you're four. That's the year you'll meet the grumpy elf inside the drawer. He's short and round with a sulky frown and a banjo on his back. He'll sprinkle you with shrinking dust and lead you through a crack. He'll show you secret passageways and how to sneak below. And, if you ask politely, he will play a one-man show. But, dear sister, as I said, you must wait one more year. You can crouch and sneak with me until that day is here. Happy birthday, sister! It's fantastic to be four. But, I'm so sad to tell you, sis, the elf has gone on tour. Patience, little sister. Oh, just wait until you're five. That's the year you'll see the mighty dragon come alive. She's big and tough, and her skin is rough, and her scales are rosy red. She'll creep up to your window and then yank you out of bed. She'll help you breathe a fireball and roar all through the night. And if you ask politely, she will give our folks a fright. But, dear sister, as I said, you must wait one more year. You can run and roar with me until that day is here. Happy birthday, sister. It's so fancy to be five. But I'm so sad to tell you, sis, the dragon took a dive. Patience, little sister. Oh, just wait until you're six. That's the year you'll see the princess fairy join the mix. She's sweet and spry and a little bit shy, and she lives beside the pond. She'll open up the castle gates with a quick wave of her wand. She'll spin you through the courtyard, and you'll boogie with the king. And if you ask politely, she will take you snorkeling. But, dear sister, as I said, you must wait one more year. You can splash and dance with me until that day is here. Happy birthday, sister. It's stupendous to be six. But I'm so sad to tell you, sis, the fairy's out of tricks. Patience, little sister. Oh, don't let your heart be vexed. I know you'll feel much better when you hear what's coming next. Seven brings a unicorn. Then eight, a talking fish. At nine, you'll meet a genie who will grant your every wish. Ten assures a mermaid, whose pink hair is loose and long. Eleven offers feathered snakes that hiss the sweetest song. Every year gets better. Every birthday brings more fun. Think of all that lies ahead. You've only just begun. But, dear sister, as you wait, enjoy each day that's here. There's so much magic we can make through every passing year. The End What makes you unique? What is your favorite thing about you? Do you have a dog? Wash that pup. What is your favorite color? You are special. You are unique. Tinker time. 
Are you ready to celebrate your uniqueness? I have got such a fun set of Tinker Time crafts to show you today so you can practice sharing your unique unicorn self. Let's check out Tinker Time. For today's Tinker Time, we're talking about unicorns. <laughs> there are many ways to create unicorns. As you can see, one of our friends is painting a unicorn on a magic treasure box. Our other friend is creating a paper unicorn. So much fun, I can't wait to see how their projects turn out. You can draw a unicorn on a piece of paper or on one of your favorite drawing apps. You can add fun colors. You can even decide if you'd like to make it move around. You can decorate unicorns out of food if you'd like. You could do fun cupcakes or other sweet treats. You can dance like a unicorn and be your own unique self. You can even blow unicorn dust. It doesn't always come off on the first try. <laughs> you can make your own unicorn horns. This is a fun project to do for a party for your friends or for your class. You can tell unicorn tales of love and friendship. You can do all sorts of things. How do you create? Look at how great this unicorn treasure box is coming along. Great job, friend! No matter how you create, remember, be unique. We're each different in our own fun, special, unique way. Great job dancing, friends. I love it. Be you. Celebrate your unique unicorn self. You're the writer of your own stories. How do you want your story to go today? Those were really fun projects. You can share your finished projects on our website. Have a guardian help you out, okay? Okay, oh, I'm hearing it. I feel like I'm having the call to go to a dance party. Are you ready? Let's go. Dance party. Oh, I, do you guys know what time it is? Dance. It's dance party, dance yeah! Party. <laughs> Let's hear a song about dance, dance. Bomb to you, ching, ching, dance. Let me hear your voice. Dance, 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 dance. This dance is all about being unique, being yourself. Mm. This is about being a unique unicorn. Absolutely. Yeah. You look fabulous as a unicorn today. Thank Why, you, thank Chloe. You. This <laughs> is my our unique self. Yeah, she's her unique self. This is our friend Chloe. You remember Chaz. Hello, friend. This is my friend Rio. Say hello, Rio. And this is my friend Mateo. Hello, Mateo. We're hey. so excited to be here with you today, and we're going to do the unique unicorn dance. Oh, boy. And again, I, this is about you being your own unique self. None of us are the same, right? Yeah. If we look around this room, we all look a little different. That's awesome, though. It's black awesome. Skin. It's yeah. black skin and unskin. Yeah, yeah, different colors of skin, boys and girls. I'm kind of taller than you guys a little. Yeah. Chloe's taller than I am. That's right. Well, yeah. especially now with my unicorn self. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're all different, but we're also all the same because we all love to dance, don't yeah. we? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So should we hear some music and dance? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. All right, trees, let us hear that music, please. Yeah. Yeah. Great, everybody.
one more time and just really let loose. One I think that was like a great practice. And now remember, we need you up off your seats. We need you dancing with us because that's how we feel great in our bodies that's and right, our hearts man. gets to pump. Yes, our really. hearts get to pump. Yeah. yeah. So what's your unique unicorn? That's Real it. is just pumping the blood. Yeah. Isn't it all? <laughs> I love it. All right, well, we're ready to hear it one, one more time. time. Here we go. All right, get up. Oh, I love this spaghetti. Yes. You're like a unique unicorn, one of a kind, gift to a dawn with moves, grace, and flow united. You're a force that's unrepeated. says be yourself and be unique oh, yeah you are unique high five team there you go team five. unicorn forest friends i love the sound of that cello playing i've noticed though with the cello sometimes it sounds like a sad or an unhappy sound do you ever notice that sounds can make you feel sad or unhappy some sounds make me feel that way. I want to talk to my friend Grand Sappy and see what he has to say about this. Come on. Hi, Grand Sappy. Nice to see you today. Hey, sir, Dippity. I was just talking with my friend about the sound of a cello and how it can kind of sound like an unhappy sound. Do you feel like there are sounds that can make you feel unhappy? Why, yes. The sound of autumn wind whistling through the leaves could sometimes sound sad to us trees. But the sound of the spring breeze is the bee's knees. <laughs> Isn't that interesting how different sounds can make you feel differently? It's true. I like to hum songs to make me happy when I'm blue. Mm. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh, shoot. I think he's fallen asleep again. We'll let Grand Sappy rest. Mm. Mm. Oh, I hear something going on over here that does not sound happy. Let's check it out. Olga, I hear you making an unhappy sound. May I ask why? Mm. I'm upset because I look different than all my friends. And I can't do the same things they can do. Well, that can be a really hard feeling to feel. May I ask why you think you need to look or act like your friends? I just want to fit in 
and how others like me. Hmm, I understand. I've had that feeling before too. I definitely appreciate what you're saying. And I think a lot of us have felt the, like we want others to like us or to fit in. I think that's a pretty normal feeling. Ooh, I have an idea. I have this really wonderful friend who helps me appreciate my differences and really celebrate my uniqueness. Unique! Unique, are you here today? Oh, there you are. Hi, Unique. This is my friend, Olga. Olga is often quite an unhappy urchin. And this is my friend, Unique, the unique unicorn. Hi. I overheard you say that you were feeling upset. May I share with you what I do to honor my differences? I guess so. One of the best ways for me to love my uniqueness is to notice things I like about myself. What do you like about yourself? Hmm, that's hard. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm, I like that you're so nice to your friends. You're a good friend to others. Hmm, I guess I like that about myself too. Is there something else you like about yourself? I sometimes like that I am bigger than other urchins because I can protect the little ones in a storm. Oh, yeah. That's a wonderful thing to celebrate about yourself. After I notice and name things that I like about myself, I like to notice what I like about others. <laughs> Every tree in the forest is unique. Some trees live in the wild, and some live in the park. Some trees have light bark, and others have dark. <laughs> It's really good advice and very true. I love talking to you, Sappy, and I love listening to you hum. Yeah, it's a good way to put a jig in your twig or a scoot in your root. <laughs> that makes me feel good. Let's all try it together, shall we? Come on, let's all hum. <laughs> Wow, that's fun. I feel happy. <laughs> that is kind of fun. Thanks. I definitely feel a little better. I feel happy. I loved seeing you today, Serendipity. And it was so nice to meet you, Olga. It feels good to hang out with friends. It really does feel good to hang out with friends. I had a great time with you today. Thank you. Yeah. What did you like about today? It's Animal Fun Facts time. Let's talk about unicorns. Oh man, am I so excited. They are mythical creatures and totally legendary. Stories about unicorns are in Chinese and Greek mythology. They're in the Bible and in Jewish folklore. It's believed that if you see one, it will bring you luck. But to touch a pure white unicorn brings happiness and joy for the rest of your life. There are other animals that have one horn, like rhinoceroses, narwhals, unicorn fish, and sometimes deer. Baby unicorns are called sparkles, and National Unicorn Day is April 9th. You better believe I have that on my calendar. I wonder what we should do to celebrate. Maybe we could all dress up and play unicorns. Do you like to dress up and act? Send us videos. We'd love to see what you're up to. Thank you for spending time with me today, friend, on our enchanted planet. I loved celebrating our uniqueness together. Do you remember Grand Sappy's advice on how to notice things you like about others? Well. I noticed that I really enjoyed spending time with you today. I also really enjoyed our dance party. I loved hearing that story, and I look forward to seeing what you create with your unicorn craft. Look forward to visiting with you again soon. I like to end our time together by celebrating and appreciating and feeling grateful. And so I like to express the attitude of gratitude. It is a key to a positive mood. See you next time, friend. <laughs>
Unicornio. Unicornio. And then tell me how this string works to open that. That's uh, what I like. It has a string and you just take these things, tape around yes. it, and, and then just simply pull it. Oh my goodness, and then it opens this whole other end. That's how you open it. Wow. Leave you later.